stuff with you again. I have a really delectable treat today to show you and to eat in front of you. Um, I'm going to try and eat way closer to the screen so that you can hear me eating because some of you people like that. You sick people like hearing people eat pickles. Um, I guess ASMR is a, still a real thing, so that's my new deal. <laughs> ASMR, me eating stuff, you gross people. Um, so either I'm on, I'm pregnant or I'm majorly on my premenstrual syndrome time, which everybody needs to know about because it's important for women's health. So I'm going to try and eat four slices of cheesecake <laughs> from Safeway. It's called Panache New York Cheesecake, right? New York Cheesecake Chocolate Selection. Here we go, chocolate caramel pecan, double chocolate, triple chocolate, and chocolate chip. Well, I like all of those things, so that's already my take on it. I've had these before, but I thought I would share it with you guys, because it's such a special time eating for two. Alright, so this one's the pecan. Oof. Uh-oh. Spillage. Spillage in the village. Hmm. Not a huge fan of pecan, but I'm just big enough to eat this right now. <laughs> Alright. This one's probably the double chocolate because it's got light brown and dark brown. Not a huge fan of dark chocolate, but I'll eat it for my health. Hmm. Yeah, that one's good. Mmm. Delectable. And what's this one? Triple chocolate? Yeah, because it has the chunks in it. Doop, doop, doop. Chunky double chocolate, triple chocolate. Get in my face. There's a fetus forming inside of me. Mmm. That one's good too. Oh, yeah. And then what's this white one? White chocolate? I hate white chocolate. I think it's just regular cheesecake with chocolate chips on top. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Look at that. Look at it. It's all over my face. It's so good. You can never go wrong with cheesecake. I love the Cheesecake Factory. I used to go there after every dance recital. Because, you know, when you're a dance, you're just throwing up for months to impress your parents. And then when the big day comes, then you can finally relax and have a giant piece of ch chocolate cheesecake. And you're 14 years old and you have an eating disorder. Mmm. Mmm. I used to do Irish dance. Chinese arms. And I almost fell over during the recital, so... My parents were not impressed. So they just gave me cheesecake. <laughs> oh, darling. We don't care that you're overweight, but we care if you slip up during your recital performance. Oh, sweet tooth. Okay. Cheesecake done. <laughs> Probably going to go back for seconds in about half an hour. <laughs> mm. And then throw it up, because I'm Pregos. So I'm going to be eating that. That's why I was eating that pickle peanut butter sandwich, you guys. I'm pregnant. Don't know who the dad is. <laughs> Maybe it's God, because I haven't slept with anyone. That's on you, God. You put that thing in my uterus. Mm. Well, anyway, this was a quickie one. I got lots of other snacks coming up in the next couple of days for you guys. So keep your eyes peeled and I'll show you my baby bump as it progresses and go into a food coma. Oh no. The darling, uh, the mother has gone into a food coma. We need to get the baby out right now. And then... Samurai Harry Carey, get that food baby out of there so it can live. 
I'm not pregnant, for sure, for real. Unless God. Unless God. Because that's a real story that happened in the Bible. The Bible is facts. All facts. And Mary told Joseph, um, you know how, like, we haven't slept together? Yeah, Mary? Well, I don't know how this happened, but it's a miracle. I, I'm pregnant, and it's not a food baby. It's a real baby. I've been throwing up, and I feel dizzy and nauseous. Mary, we've been married for one year, and you go and canoodle with God? You think I'm going to believe that story? You little 13-year-old hussy. Who knows? It's all a metaphor. The Bible is just metaphor and poetry, right? It's not facts. Show me the, the ark, Noah's ark. Show it to me. Where is it? That a big boat like that? And like, when's Jesus coming back? We keep waiting and waiting and he's never coming. He never gives us a time or day that he's coming. He's like a terrible relative that just shows up on your door like, Hey, can I get a place to crash? And then he just like smokes weed and wine and brings all his, his 12 buddies over to your house. And it's like, Jesus... You've been here three months. Um, can you get a real job, please? I don't need no real job. I'm the son of God. I'm having the son of God. <laughs> That's why I put these pearls on today, because it's a special occasion. And I had some cake. Because I'm having the son of God. I'm birthing a king. Mm. Okay, wow. Bye. I'll see you later.